Hello everybody, today we're going to be installing Zeal OS, Zeal OS, it's no longer Zenith OS, and a reason for that is this guy is gone, uh, he's, he's going to work on his own project, and it's down to these two guys, uh, and uh, TBH, to be honest, um, Mr. Temple Programming has decided to move his work to a separate repo, Holy Geo. And I've made the tiny <laughs> commit in the past. Uh, but yeah. that That's the thing. Um, and so we're going to... Uh, so that's all you need to know. Zeal OS is a real deal. So now we're going to work on... Um, now we're going to talk about how installing it to VirtualBox and VMware because this is an operating system that installs to AHCI. It uses AHCI CD DVD drives and hard drives. So that means that the old video is obsolete. This will work for Zenith OS as well. So go download this. Click on the download button. I already got it downloaded. And then go here. Make a new uh make a new virtual machine. Zeal thingy two. Um other unknown. Put it over here or something. I don't know. You can put any amount really. I'll, let's let's put it here because this time I wanna I wanna put in a lot even though we don't need it. And then Go this, do this, something like this. Um, then go here. And this is the most important part that specifically has to do with the new changes. So you see this controller ID? That's wrong. That's wrong. You don't want that. You don't want that. We are no longer using IDE drives. Make new. Make a new thing. So... First, our optical disk is going to be Zeal OS, not this version, uh, this version. And then, uh, if you don't see it, go to Add, and you'll see it in your file uh, explorer. Pick whatever ISO it is at the moment. Uh, choose and add uh, the hard drive. This, and this means it should work. Uh, and... Yeah, or no, I don't even care. And then I'm gonna put in like eight threads, why not? Or nine threads, yeah. yeah, nine threads. This is not, processors does not refer to actual physical core count. It refers to the amount of threads. I, I learned that yesterday when I was installing it on my laptop, uh, installing ZLOS on my laptop. And keep that as it is. Okay, I think we're good. If it doesn't, I already have this one, which I did basically the same thing, but we'll see, we'll see. I think I think we're good here. I think we're good here. Go uh Jan Ju July eighth. Okay. Good. Everything's going well. So and as you can see yeah. press that. As you can see. We have our nine threads. It the the other ones are in black. Some are in yellow. The alternating color scheme. Okay. Install to hard drive. And it asks. That's a new thing. That's a new thing. Upgrade an existing install. Or create new installation. Well, this is a new one. So we press I. And then we see it do its business. And, and now it will, when we press Y, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It ejected the disk. It ejected the disk. That didn't happen last time. That didn't happen when it was uh, in IDE mode. This is just a new feature that has nothing to do with the fact whether it's ID or AHCI, but I thought that was cool. Before, you would have to eject the disk yourself when using VirtualBox. So, anyways. Now... Press drive one. 
and it works and it works and we can play our you know our uh, how about how about castle frankenstein again yeah excellent excellent all right um there's obviously no audio with uh virtual box so there's no fun in playing these games on virtual box but but it is the open source one it is the free software one so now we're going to do the same thing in vmware and i'll do a separate video messing around on uh vmware adding new stuff and whatnot but this is purely an installation of it. Long videos intimidate people, as you know. So, once again, go here. Seal OS. Open. Yes, don't worry about that. Other. Uh, sure, 8. Oh, single file. I love single file. And then, over here, when you try and customize the hardware, look. You can't even do the... You can't even do... Like, you can't even select your hard drive. Like, you can't select what type of hard drive it is. Not by default. And look, over here, it's going to do an IDE. So, this one will change right now, I think. Yeah, we'll move this to SATA, port 00. zero. Okay, close. Finish. And then... And then, oh, I how do I forget to rename that? Add a virtual machine settings. Options, I'll change that to Zeal Thingy 3. And then, go to your hard drive and just, just remove it. That's garbage. Go here. Hard disk. We could do SATA because SATA is the cool one. Um, I don't remember. Is it here? Forget it. We'll make a new one. Create a new virtual disk. Yes. Single. We'll call this Zeal Thingy 3. Finish. And then, OK. Begin. Excellent. OK. Yes. Install. Reboot. And when we play our oh, when we play our, I want to play our uh, Castle Frankenstein. And so on and so forth. This uh, all of this works now. We got the system installed. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. See you later.